Ogulapu Hal Siaya. For thousands of years, the canoe has played a vital role in the lives of Northwest Indians. Canoes moved our people on rivers, lakes, and on the Puget Sound. On this fifth Lashutsi video, you will learn more about canoes, the culture, the Lashutsi words, and the spirituality connecting our past to our future. Aotkas is our name for this kind of canoe. Uh, the canoe that you're looking at was carved out of a 550-year-old uh, old-growth cedar. It was 175 foot tall. It came out of uh, Mount Baker National Forest. The huge cedar was cut down in June of 1988. Jerry Jones and Joe Gobin took the next year to carve it into what it is today. Use a cedar, you look after it, it'll look after you. In spirituality, this is what we, uh, reason why we treasure cedar mostly in our living lives. Well, spiritual thing is that the log that gave up its life for the people, and they have to respect all of this. In the meantime, it, it pulls all the people together because they have to learn to synchronize as one when they start paddling together. It pulls them together, pulls all the village together. In our language, the general word for canoe is keokbid. The specific word for an ocean-going canoe like this one is aotkas. These Lashutsi words will be repeated at the end of the video to help you learn them. If you look closely, you'll notice this canoe has a head with eyes, ears, and a larynx. The ads marks on the side of the canoe help it to travel through the water more easily and gracefully. Isht is the word for pulling canoe. The word for song is stilib. In July of 1994, we were given the song that we now use on our canoes. Our late spiritual leader, Kenneth Moses Sr., was on his way by boat to Kameno Head for a Kameno Head dedication. The Tulalip tribes purchased the land on Kameno Head, and the song came to him on his way across. It's a gift received for the people, and it's it's also a protection for our people on the water and along with the cedar, along with the canoe itself, you pray, you give respect to the song and the canoe and it will protect you and keep you safe. Along with singing, you hear us counting to help keep us in stroke. In the Shutzit, one is pronounced Cho'o. Two is Sali. Three, Hliu. And four, Bose. Another phrase that can be used is Yahao. That means go ahead now. It is used to help keep stroke. The word for paddle is Huo. Notice how crew members are paddling. They're not looking at the water. They're looking directly at the person in front of them. This way, we learn how to work as one. Crew members go through training before getting on the canoe. It isn't easy. First, they learn to paddle correctly. This is done by standing in waist deep water. And second, they learn Lashutsi words and the canoe song. Each crew member takes turns leading the singing. The water was our highway, and that's how we traveled years ago. We didn't have modern day highways. We used a canoe and we had to respect it. Canoes served as a lifeline to our ancestors. With canoes, you could reach our fishing and clamming grounds. Hoishud is today called Kameno Head. This is where Kenneth Moses was headed when the canoe song came to him. Chachasali, like Hoishud, is a traditional clamming area. Chachasali is now called Hat Island. When the wind is right, Tulalip paddlers often put up a sail. 
In the past, a mat was used. You'll notice the crew sitting on the canoe floor. When the sail is up, the crew doesn't want to block the breeze or be in the way of the boom if the wind changes. An important word to learn is hlalil. It is used over and over again in the song. It means to arrive when you are traveling by water. There are two parts to the song. There's a first verse that can be used when people are leaving shore or you can hear them coming into the land and into your area for a visit or whatever. And once they reach a certain point close to shore, then the verse changes to the fast part. The song is letting the people know that visitors are coming and who is arriving. This song identifies the Tulalip people. Since we have made the canoe part of our lives, we feel we are beginning to participate in the ways of our ancestors. I think they're looking down, smiling at us, and thanking us. Oh, yes, the teaching is there. They haven't forgotten. At Tulalip, we know our past is connected to today and generations to come. The canoe is part of who we are. Future generations will be able to use this and travel in the waters as our ancestors did. Really like to see this pull through uh, for, for our younger generation, for them to understand our ways of Indian people, our, our culture. As more and more of our community members become involved in canoe activities, we will want to learn some Lushootsi words and phrases that the paddlers use. A oat hus, a oat hus, kelt bead, kelt bead, ishd, ishd, stilib, stilib, cho, cho, sali, sali. Hlihu, Bos, Bos, Yahau, Yahau, Hobd, Hobd, Hoishad, Hoishad. Chuch a salik, chuch a salik, flalil, flalil.